Good morning. I'm looking after little Percy here, who's 16 weeks old. I think he's actually a little bit younger than that, if the truth were known. Um, just playing on some games. This is um, day two. He's already learnt down from me very, very quickly. Very, very sharp little boy. Just wonder if he's remembered anything else. So I'm just going to wait him out a bit. See, with the jumping up, I'm just giving him no eye contact, nothing. Absolutely diddly squat, nothing. He's getting zero from me. Because the more that that behaviour is reinforced with a get down or get off or a push or something like that, then the more it's going to happen. So he says, is it down that you want? And he's very much in play mode rather than relax mode. So just going to wait him out and see if he does remember anything from yesterday. Yes! Lovely! That's really good. Nice. Good lad. Nice. And bear in mind, literally only did a few minutes of this with him yesterday. And just look at how quickly he's picked this up. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. And I'm just going to see if he remembers that this is my food. And he doesn't quite. Oh, he does. No, he doesn't. Treat. Very good, little man. Very good. He has remembered that. So this one is a very, very sharp cookie. Very sharp cookie. Treat. That is so good. Get it, get it, nice boy. And you see here he returns to his hot spot, which is the blanket. We also played some cage games yesterday as well, literally just using the same principle as this. Treat, good boy. So building up that value of him just remaining on the mat, very nice. So mat becomes a hot spot. Clever little man, what a clever boy. He did actually steal that one. Treat. Good. Well done. Well done. I've covered that up with my feet, that one. So it's still there. Treat. And that one's come from my pocket. Get it. Get it. Good lad, what a good boy. And straight back onto the hot spot. Very good boy. What a good boy. Super dog. What a super dog you are. Very nice. That's nice. So, let's see if he does remember in that. So remain on there. Yes, oh, very clever. What a clever boy you are. What a clever boy. What a clever boy. That's nice. That is really good. Put some outside again. Get it. Nice boy. And he says, which hot spot do you want? Yes, nice. Very good. Oh dear, did it go in there? Good boy. Super dog. Super dog. So this is making the cage a really nice, pleasant area for him to go to. Oh, he's 
is such a clever one, this one. Oh, that's cool. It's gone in there, so he's having to work to get it out, which is even better. So again, even things like that, you know, rummaging around in that little toy there, trying to get the food out, it's keeping him in the cage and making him think, oh, it's a cool place to be. That is really good. And these are lovely games to play on a rainy day, which it is at the moment. It is absolutely bucketing down outside. Nice boy. Nice boy. That's it. So I'm not showing him a treat. I'm not luring him or anything like that. The treats are actually in my pocket. And then the treats come out as a reward, not as a lure. And I'm going to come back on another video explaining why lures can actually slow the learning processes down because there's no thought processes going on there that is really good clever boy well done percy well done 